All right, so we we bring greetings to you all, uh, students, students of Kumase Technical University and the entire university community. Uh, over the last week, National declared a sit-down strike and charged uh, various chapter executives to come down, communicate to members of the strike, and then members so affirm the strike. Just a little background to the declared sit-down strike by National. National on the 29th of July, 29th of August, sorry, wrote to NCTE and the Ministry of Education and the National Labor Commission indicating our intention to strike if we were not migrated onto the university level salary structure. And it will surprise people to know that since 2016, when we were converted to a university, the staff has not accordingly be migrated onto the relevant single spine salary structure of the universities. So promptly, National Labor Commission responded to the 29th August letter on the 30th and invited the National to a meeting. The meeting was scheduled for 12th of September last week, Wednesday. And when we went, we travel from afar, Tamale, everywhere we went, and surprisingly, after sitting for all day, we were communicated to that none of the commissioners were present, so the meeting couldn't come on. Neither were we given any reschedule or nothing. It was just in the view of national a disregard to our our presence. They just the impunity of the impunity of the disregard was just too much. So the sedan strike was duly announced and subsequent to that on the thirteenth uh Kofodia Technical University were able to meet and they affirmed the strike, so they proceeded on strike. On the 14th, some other technical universities also met and they affirmed the strike. As we speak now, Cape Coast, we know, have not affirmed the strike. Kumas Technical University was due to meet on the 14th and we met, but unfortunately, members could not participate in their numbers, so we did not form cone. And in associations of equals like ours, we really need to respect our own rules that we form quorum before decisions can be taken. So we were forced to reschedule the meeting to Tuesday when we could get the required number needed to take the decision. So we did. And today we went to the meeting and the outcome was unanimous that we hold on with the strike pending some demands that we have made to the NCTE and the National Labor Commission. The first issue is that in the view of members, our target is the NCTE and the Ministry of Education, not with National Labor Commission. They are only playing the role of mediators. And in our view, if the mediator is not giving us the needed respect, uh, we don't think it is enough grounds to strike. That would take us or take our focus off the main target, the NCT and the ministry. Then the NCT too, on their part, have come up with some timelines which all the technical universities duly know. They say on the 20th of September, this coming Thursday, they are going to meet and adopt 
the conditions of service and scheme of service of the universities as has been going for and coming. The review has been ongoing. Finally, on the 20th, they say they are going to adapt it. And they keep saying, or they have also said per their timelines, that the staff audit, they demanded that staff audit, that staff audit will start in October and hopefully by 9th of November, per their own time, 9th of November, the staff audit issues would have also come to an end. Then they can go ahead to migrate us. So our question is, why timeline for adoption of the conditions of service document, timeline for end of staff audit, but no timeline for migration? So our union decided that we communicate to the NCT and the ministry asking them to come clean on the exact day of migration. That was our first demand. The second demand is for them to give us evidence of their claim of we having been captured by the 2019 budget. So if they are able to give us this request, hopefully by we give them up to 28th of September, if we receive response from them, we then would convey a meeting again as a chapter and then we would advise ourselves accordingly based on the decision that will come from the National uh, uh, NCT Council for Tertiary Education and then the Ministry of Education. So that is in all what happened. We therefore want to communicate to our students and the general public that we are holding on with the announced strike action here in Kumase Technical University while we await response to these demands we are making to National Council of Tertiary Education and then the Ministry of Education on exact day of migration number one and then number two evidence that we have been captured by the 2019 budget. Let me also be quick to add that Nobody wants strike. And government, for that matter, the NCT and the Ministry of Education, should not push any technical university into that arena. We want the peaceful transition, but over the years, there has been inconsistencies from the NCT and the ministry. They came out with a one-year transition plan in 2016, which never materialized with the excuse that elections and government level transition arrangement disrupted that timeline. Again, they came up in 2017 with another plan that also did not materialize. This year, they are insisting that they are going to keep to their timelines. We are closely looking at them. 20th is just two days from now. We will see if they will keep to their own schedule and adapt the conditions of service document. Then we would look up to them to fast track the process of the so-called staff audit. We wonder why staff audit, but it is their choice. They quickly have to do that in August, in October, as they have promised, so that by their own timeline, 9th November, we will not be talking about anything. Then we assume that right after 9th, maybe 10th or 11th of November, we are going to be migrated onto the university salary structure. If it's not going to be 10th, they should tell us exactly when we are going to be migrated and then give us evidence that, yes, you have been captured in the 2019 budget, so relax, you are going to be. We are reasonable people. Like as, as I said earlier, our choice and our interest is not to go to strike to disrupt the academic calendar. No. We love our students, and that is the work we do. We, we are happy. We are lecturers. So they shouldn't push us to that level. Nobody wants to get there. If 28th, by 28th, our request, as Kumas Technical University, our request to NCT and the Ministry of Education on just those simple harmless demands, 
when are they going to migrate as one number two evidence that we have been captured in the 2019 budget if by 28th of september we don't have that response from nct and the ministry then accordingly we would meet as a chapter and we will advise ourselves this decision that was taken by kstu teaching staff association was unanimous by 12 o'clock we concluded the meeting and that was our decision. We would therefore want to communicate to our students to remain calm. Students and lecturers alike, please go about your normal teaching and learning and research activities calmly. Let academic activities proceed as scheduled on the academic calendar till days after 28th of September when union leaders convey a meeting based on the response that we receive from NCT and the ministry in respect of this strike. So for now, clearly, we are not on strike. We are waiting for response, as I have said earlier. Any other development that comes up, we shall duly communicate with our students and the general public. We thank you all, and may the good Lord bless us all. Thank you.